What is up guys, Evil Man here bringing you another Wi-Fi match. Today is Like a Broom, number two, and it's against a seasoned pro by the name of Vicious. I met him back on the Zat that was called Umbreon's Paradise, quite possibly the best Pokemon side of all time that went down in flames, but that's okay. So we're going to go ahead and start this match off with his Hail team versus my really competitive Sand team, and you're not even going to get to see most of this team. This team is beautiful, and you get to see like none of it. Kind of sad. So I'm going to go ahead and lead off with my Frigidaire, and he's going to go ahead and lead off with his Hail right away. And I'm just going to Volt Switch, mainly because I want to break the Focus Sash I thought he had, because V always runs Focus Sash Abomasnow. But this time he decided, I'm going to be different. Alright, so he's going to go ahead and go for Seed Bomb, trying to hit Frigidaire for super effective. But I ain't going to let that shit happen. Go into Stun, that big fucking threat. You might be like, oh, it's not a big threat unless you set it up. Yeah, yeah, watch this. He's going to go ahead and go for Leech Seed, forgetting that Magic Guard even does anything. Well, I go ahead and go for Calm Mind. Now here he's going to go ahead and have to switch out into his punk ass, bitch ass Chiron. Well, I'm going to go ahead and set up another Calm Mind. Yeah, it's not a big threat now, is he? Fuck you. So, okay, so his Chiron comes in, and the only thing I'm really afraid of is it sitting here and going for Outrage, maybe being a Scarf or a Bandit set. But V's going to be original, and he's going to use a Substitute fucking bullshit set. He's going to go ahead and go for Blizzard, which isn't going to do shit. Don't play no games, plus two special defense. I'm going to hit it with a Psy Shock and take it down to about half because I'm not that set up yet and I don't have that much special attack investment. Just wait, it'll happen. Promise. Here he's going to go ahead and switch out, knowing he can't do shit. He's going to go into his own Ranunculus while I go for another Psy Shock, get some prior damage in, but it's not going to fucking matter because we're going to go into a state of mind that I like to call the Calm Mind War. And what do you mean Calm Mind War? Well, it's going to be this little part here where I speed up because it's fucking boring to watch, and all you do is you sit there with your DS and you spam the A button as fast as you can on the move Calm Mind. Just over and over and over and over again. So you might be thinking, oh, Evil doesn't have anything to talk about during this dude. No, I do have something to talk about. I'm gonna talk about another video game. Saints Row the Third. Quite possibly the best bootleg copy ever of fucking Grand Theft Auto. This game is so amazing that you can run around naked, streaking, and hitting people over the face with a giant purple floppy dildo. You can beat them to death with a giant purple floppy dildo. No other game in the world lets you do that unless it's some creepy ass hentai game, in which case I don't want to know about it, do not post a link. I'm looking at you. Don't. Do it. So here we're going to go ahead and set up all the calm mines, and I'm going to get to plus six while Vicious is going to go ahead and get to plus four. Now I'm going to start firing off Psy Shocks right away, trying to kill his Ranunculus right off the bat. Well, he's going to go ahead and make a little bit of a smarter play and keep going for recover, trying to pee, -pee stall me out of Psy Shot. So that way I'm forced to go for a non-effective Focus Blast against his plus four special defense. So he is kind of making the smart play here, but then again, I'm still going to be able to make it happen because in this match, I have good luck. Don't ask why, I just do. So here we're going to go ahead and keep setting off Psy Shocks after Psy Shock after Psy Shock. Well, he's just going to go ahead and keep going for recover. And I'm not too worried about it because we were talking on Facebook while we were playing and he had this all calced out to the point where he thinks he can get this just right if he's pee, pee stalls me and he's going to be set up and he's going to be just fine. Which wouldn't have even mattered in the end anyways because I have an entire team left over that he hasn't even got to fight yet. Now, right here. I don't ever do anything special. I'm going to call a crit right here. We're talking on Facebook. I call the crit. I'm going to go for Psy Shock and what do you know? I get the crit. I get the crit. So now I'm set up plus six, plus six, like a broom, half health. Gonna go into a bomb of snow, go for that seed bomb. I'm just gonna go ahead and recover. He can't do shit to me. He's not gonna take me out. I might as well have a lot of health while I fucking broom him up. He's gonna go ahead and get a little more recovery, and I'm just gonna go ahead and fire off a fucking Psy Shock while he goes for another Leech Seed, like a noob. Now he probably went for Leech Seed not realizing that it's not going to do anything thanks to Magic Guard. Because if I can't take the damage, he can't absorb the damage. Makes sense. Here he's going to go ahead, try to pee-pee stall me some more, and go into his Chiron. Now here's where he probably realized that Leech Seed doesn't do anything, which is, you know, a sad realization. Because he would have been able to stall me out if he had Leech Seed. So here, I'm going to Psy Shock him once. Little does he know I have like four Psy Shocks left. I'm like kind of running low. So he's going to set up another sub. I'm going to Psy Shock him again. Break that sub. Break his fucking ego break him in half. There he's gonna go ahead and now all he has left is to blizzard. He has to try to freeze me. If he freezes me he can end this sweep. He can end the humility but it's on like a broom week so you know he's not going to get it. Focus blast. Don't miss. 
Yes! Like a broom! Next he's gonna go into his stupid ass Conkleder, thinking, oh, I can take it out, I'll use Payback, maybe I'll get a crit. Bitch, you're faster than me. Flubber is slow as dirt. I'm gonna go ahead and smack him in the face with my last Psy Shock. He doesn't know it's my last Psy Shock, so shh. Nobody tell him. Like a broom! Next he's gonna go ahead and go into that big threat that's that fucking specially defensive Heatran. Bitch, I ain't scared of your specially defensive Heatran. Go for that Lava Plume. Get that burn. Doesn't do shit. Smack him in the face with a Focus Blast. That's two Focus Blasts that I haven't missed. Ugh, like a broom. Yes. Okay, now I'm doing pretty fucking intense. There's Hail, there's Leech Seed, there's Burn on me. I ain't taking shit. I was gonna go ahead and go into his last guy. His last shot is fucking Tentacruel. And I'm gonna smack it in the face with a Focus Blast. Why Focus Blast? Why the fuck not Focus Blast? Get that special defense drop. And now I'm going to go ahead and add to his humility, because I know it's not enough to get the 6-0 on V, I have to make it worse. I'm going to go ahead and go for Recover when he goes for Scald, getting my health all the way back up to its tippy tippy top. And now, he's going to go ahead and go for another Scald, and I'm going to fire off another Focus Blast that's going to hit, and that's going to be the game, and I'm going to, like a broom, his entire team, losing only 22 hit points the entire game. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. So that's like a broom, number two. And this was actually supposed to be a lot closer of a match, but thanks to that crit, I made it a lot more entertaining for you guys. And if you liked it, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. I'll probably be doing a little bit more professional narrations on things that aren't like a broom. So don't take these personally like, oh, he's trying to be a smartass. But anyways, I will see you guys next time. Peace.